One, I'm back. Alex is back. It's been a long time since a breakdown. We're doing Toxic by Britney Spears today. One of my students uh, was curious about this one. So we're doing it. One of my students, yeah, that's right. I teach private lessons. And you can just go ahead and skip to like two minutes because I'm going to talk for a, a second. Uh, not that long. But basically, thanks for watching. If you want to support me, buy one of my records. I've got... Uh, it's Okay to Cry, the EP I released with Anitha's label, Mama Told Ya. I've got Always, released on Nina Kravitz's uh, label, Trip. And then I just released One, Two, Three by myself on Ellen Ellian's label, UFO Recordings. So please go ahead and grab a vinyl. There's vinyl for all of them. That would be sick. And if you want this project file, go to my Patreon. Uh, links for all of this stuff in the description. The, the files are free. And yeah. You can also get lessons there and some other cool stuff. Just You can just give me a little, like a dollar a month or something to help support. That'd be great. Cool. All right, so we're doing Toxic by Britney Spears today. I'm pretty sure Max Martin was the producer on this one. I'm not 100% sure. Um, I'm going to just... I know I'm talking a lot here, and if you're new, you're probably already skipping away, which is chill. I'm going to look it up right now on my phone. Toxic, um, let's see, all right, I'm on the German, uh, who's the producer, doesn't say, okay, I don't know, you know, maybe I will skip this, uh, Toxic, Britney Spears, English, Wikipedia, okay, it was, Oh, okay. Blood Shy and Avant um, are the production duo. Cool. With additional writing from Kathy Dennis and Henrik Johnbeck. All right. It was initially offered to Kylie Minogue, but she turned it down. All right. So let's just see what we got. Let's listen. So we have a simple drum beat playing. I'm going to mark that down first. It's just boom, chap, boom, tap. Just like a kick and a clap. So let's let's do that. Alright, I think it's just doing this, repeating. Alright. Easy. Okay. All right, and now we have a pretty sick sample. Sample one, let's do string one. I'm gonna go ahead and say there's two samples playing because I feel like we have this and then we're gonna have so that's gonna be string two. So we're gonna put string one is this. We're gonna put string two is this. Just to have a look at it. And if you want, you could you could you could just call this string hook one because I feel like these are both very catchy. So, cool thing is right off the bat, right when the song starts, you're getting two big hooks. Uh huh. Okay, so that's just gonna repeat. And our BPM is 143. Okay, wait one second. We have the clap stop on this last beat. Okay, we're gonna keep the same, everything's the same except we're gonna have this like guitar chord playing. So let's draw that in. Okay, we're gonna have a couple other things. So this is, we can draw, and there's some like little palm mutes here you can hear. All right, so I hear another instrument going. It sounds like some sort of Indian thing, I think. Can you hear that? You can also hear like a chime. Uh, I don't think it's a sitar, but I feel so ignorant. Sorry if I'm being... Well, whatever. I don't know what it is. Um, it's some sort of thing like that. And I'm going to put chimes. I feel like I can hear some chimes. Whatever. 
whatever. You can hear it. So that's kind of cool. We're really going to emphasize that. Now, let's see what else we got. Baby, can't you see? All right. Sick use of silence here. Baby, can't you see? I like that. So let's get the... We got vocal one. We'll put, we'll put vocal verse. I don't know how we're going to split up the vocals, but we'll figure that out. Baby, can't you see? I'm calling. A guy like you should wear a warning. It's dangerous. I'm flying. Sick. Okay, this is a good song. So, another cool thing is that, uh, let's see here. I like how you get this blip of silence. Like I said, the first bar is basically empty. You know? You know what I mean? So that's cool. Um, by having like this ghost one note. Baby, can't you see? All right, and now we're gonna have the clap coming in here. Baby, can't you see? And then we're gonna get like a big kick here. I'm calling. All right, and the clap. I'm uh, is this the same clap from earlier? Baby, can't you see? I'm calling. A guy like you. So if I'm correct, I'm not sure. I feel like the drums here are just high pass, meaning the low frequencies are taken out, and they're probably I'm gonna guess the same drums, or maybe they were layered, but they sound basically like the same drums, but now they're full on. So if we want, we could we could do something like this. Kick high pass. Clap. High pass. Okay. And we can make those a different color. Right. Baby, can't you see? And if you want to be really fun, you could put intro. We're gonna see how I haven't done a breakdown in a while. I'm kind of just just cruising on this. We're gonna just see how this Baby. goes. Uh, let's do verse one. Might be nice to look at it like this. Baby, can't you see? I'm calling. I really like this bass line. So let's get that bass line down. Baby, can't you see? I'm calling. A guy like you should wear a warning. It's dangerous. I'm flying. Okay. Something like that. All right. Let's let's look at that bass line real quick. Make sure it looks okay. I'm calling. I'll note the bass. We're getting a lot of bass notes hitting at the same time a kick's hitting. Like that's really more like here. That's more like here. I'm calling a like you. That should be more like here. These notes aren't exact. I'm just trying to make it look correct so we can follow along for the purpose of checking out the arrangement. And if one of y'all's out there going, oh, the track's up here, it is up there. And. That's because I'm not sound designing. I am just checking out the arrangement. So yeah. Okay. Um. I'm calling a guy like you should wear a warning. It's okay. All right. This is cool. Uh, I'm just gonna kind of map everything out first, and then I'll, I might talk a little bit. So what else we got? Baby, can't you see? I'm calling. Okay. That guitar is gonna be more prominent here. So let's get that going. Baby, can't you see? I'm calling. A guy like you should wear a warning. It's dangerous. I'm flying. Okay. So it sounds like the guitars are playing three chords. We got this one. Boom. 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 Then it returns back to the first chord. This should be the same as this. Let's just do that real quick. Two high can't go down. All right, so now let's see. Baby, can't you see? I'm calling. A 
I like, uh, yeah, this is really good. Okay, so now we're gonna have this like string swell. And I'm gonna move. I love this boom, boom. I, I don't know if you can call that a hook because it's not that noticeable, but it's almost one. A boom boom on that bass line. I really like that. But I doubt most people are listening to that. But it, it is there. It's pretty cool. I almost want to make a different color. I, I really like this. Boom boom boom. It's a really great thing to do right before a turn. Right before we repeat this cycle. So okay. So now we've got this going on. Okay. I don't hear anything else. So now let's see what happens next. I'm going to copy this over. Well, if we want to, shall we take a quick look at this? Let's take a quick look at this vocal line. Baby, can't you see? Do, 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 do. Baby, can't you see? I'm calling. A guy like you should wear a warning. It's dangerous. I'm flying. There's no escape. Might be interesting to note, it looks like the melodies from the first eight bars to the next eight bars are basically the same. We have do 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 Baby can't you see? There's no escape. Almost the same. This note's gone though. Do 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 do. So this one's do 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 and this one just do 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 do. And then we have this boo boo boo. Then we're gonna have do 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 do. And we're gonna have that again. Do 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 do. Baby, give me it. Should wear a warning. Do 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 do. Then it's gonna go down. It's dangerous. Do 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 do. You're dangerous. I'm loving it. I'm flying. Yeah, do do do. I'm flying. So yeah, the words are a bit different. Not all the time. This one's the same, I think. Dangerous. You're dangerous. It's dangerous. Oh, it's dangerous. It's danger this one's you're dangerous. You're dangerous. That's right. Um, but yeah, just just something to note. Now you're gonna have similar melodic lines, basically. I mean, basically the same, more or less, almost the same. Um, and how do we keep this next bar interesting? There's no We're gonna get some hi hats. Can you hear those? There's no escape. I can't wait. I need it. Here we go. Let's map that out. There's no escape. I can't wait. I need it. Baby, give me it. You're dangerous. I'm loving it. Alright, so now. Can you hear that hat coming? Hat. There's no escape. I can't. There's no This one sounds like it's a little bit more open. There's no escape. I can't wait. I need a hit. Baby, give me it. You're dangerous. I'm loving it. All right. Now I'm going to make a note here. This is, this is like, let's go to pre-chorus. I think this is pre-chorus. So now we're gonna go pre-chorus. One, let's all caps that. So I think the instrumental is gonna be very similar, but the vocals are what's gonna be mostly different. So let's take the second half. Let's copy that over and let's see what happens. Vocal verse, yeah, we're probably just gonna do vocal pre-chorus. And note right away, you're gonna hear the vocal get mega stereo. So. Oh, that's good. 
Okay, <clears throat> so here we go. We're gonna do vocal pre-chorus. And if you want to be fun here, wait, let's just map this out first. I'm gonna move this here. <laughs> So I'm going to duplicate this just so we can have one that's a different color. Okay, if we're really being real here, let's see what this sounds like in mono real quick. If you're wondering what mono is, that's like one speaker playing. Uh, I don't, I'm not going to have the most exact definition, but basically like if you listen to something on a phone, that's mono when it has one speaker. And then if you listen to something like on your headphones, that's stereo where you have two speakers where there's a left speaker and a right speaker. And the left speaker and the right speaker might have stuff that's different than each other. But in that mono speaker, um, everything sounds the same because it's just one speaker. Um, if you listen to mono in headphones, that means that both speakers are emitting the same stuff. So that means that if you had a track that had some crazy stuff in the left and some crazy stuff in the right, when you click mono, it, there's a very, very good chance it's gonna sound uh, different. Um, in your headphones because now uh, both things are emitting the same stuff whatever basically it's cool because in this case at least like if you're listening to the song on headphones especially um, once this pre-chorus comes in like the vocals really sound a lot bigger and surrounding because it's it's it gets stereo I'm, from here to here again what listen to that Oh wait, did I already mono it? I did already mono it. Here I go. Okay, and I'm just gonna mono this because I wanna see if there's another let's let me listen. Hear the difference. So see if if you're listening on one speaker, you're probably not gonna hear any difference or not much. If you have headphones on, listen to this. And then watch what happens when I press the button. So I'm going to play it mono, and I'm going to press the button. Okay, so I'm, I'm just putting left and right. There could be, a, and so these are probably different vocal takes of the same melody that are one's put left and one's put right. Probably. And there could be a third that's center. I would guess there is. I tried to mono it just to like get a good idea of that, but I'm pretty positive there is, but so I'm just going to keep it there, even though I, I could be wrong here, but if you're trying to do something like this, this is like a good way to go about it. Um, and then also I'm going to note there is a synthesizer playing the same melody. It's just like, wow, wow. My throat's a little bit messed up this week. <clears throat> Synthesizer. Pre-chorus. Melody. Okay. So, if we listen. You can really hear it more in mono, I think. Listen to that synth playing. Just for the sake of it. Let's see if we can find it. This could be fun. All right. Um, I feel like you can hear a little bit easier there. See, you can see it up here. Cool. If you notice, the rest of the instrumental is basically the same. You got the string sweep, you got the string hook one, string hook two. Sick. Oh, wait, let me do one more thing. There's a little crash here. You hear that? Classic move. Transition, add a, add a crash. That's like the big symbol the drummer has. There might have been more. 
Baby. Nope. No okay. This is cool. It sounds just like, I don't know, an electric bass, electric guitar, maybe. I'm not positive. Okay. I think this is cool because it's not silence, but it just like bring, really brings you out for a second and builds up the anticipation um, right before the chorus. So, let's see. Uh, how about that? I love this little. It sounds like they probably played this on a real bass. Hear that little whoom. That's just a really good way to just like, just jump you back in. There's some good bass stuff here. Remember, like I said earlier, this. Like I don't know. Those are those little whoom, ba boom, boom. Really, I feel like they really help lead you from one part to the next, which I I enjoy. You're gonna get a huge crash again. All right, let's get the. Here comes the chorus. All right, so we're gonna have the vocals start a little bit before. Um. A little bit before the chorus technically like the chorus starts here, but the vocals start there. Okay. Um, this is probably doubled again. Center, let's see. There's also harmonies here. You can hear, so the main line is, You're toxic. I told, I told you my throat is very not good today. <clears throat> You're to oh my god, I can't hit the notes. You're toxic. So that's like the main notes we can also hear. Yo toxic gun. Yo toxic gun. Yo toxic gun. Yep. Uh, it's common with pop songs like this, like these big vocal driven ones, to at least, I shouldn't say this, of the ones I've seen, especially like Britney, I would assume like all of her stuff probably, or at least a lot of it, you're gonna have a lot of vocals. Um, so we're just gonna basically this is gonna be a little different, and that's probably doubled to left and right, something like that. I've just noticed though the uh, the instrumental is basically the same. I'm calling a like you should wear a warning. It's dangerous. I'm falling. There's no escape. I can't. There might be a ride going on. I love that ride. I, I like it because it's kind of corny to me. I just like how simple it is. <laughs> so it's just going. Your 
There might be actually even more harmonies here. I feel like I can actually hear her voice lower. On the taste of her lips, I'm on a ride. I think those are there too. They're just pretty low in the mix. I will say this is like a really cool like part A, part B to the core. Like the I feel like these these this is a really nice call and response. Where you get here we go. It's just all very catchy. Okay, so this song is cool. So it's something like that. Um, yeah. And now we're gonna get. So I say it because I feel like it's like this nice call and response. Response to the guitar. I might need to adjust the guitar chords. Let's see how they're playing here. I think the guitar is playing a lot more. It seems a lot, it seems like the guitar is happening a lot more. Oh wait, yeah, this actually might be very different. Let's look at the bass line. Yeah, because now we're getting more, of, this was like a three chord progression. Versus here we're gonna get full on four chord, I think. So the bass line's also different. Got some cool little bass lines in there. I love that. Okay. All right, so now we're gonna have a, with the vocal, melody, vocal, <sighs> chorus, vocal chorus. We're gonna kind of have like a call and response with this guitar. Okay, so there is chorus two. Cool, right? Or chorus one. Now let's see how the rest of this goes. Oh wait, what's over here? I 
Oh, they stay over here. Cool. We're going into verse two, and I like how we kind of have this hesitation on the one again. Let's get away. I mean, you have more instrumentation going on in this one than earlier. Versus this. But still, like, the full beat doesn't come in until. Um. Let's get away. This this second bar. Okay. Let's get. Let's. All right. So I'm gonna do this. Let's get away. Let's get away. We have this reminiscent. We have the leftovers from the guitar. <laughs> Have the guitar happening. Let's get away. 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 Let's get that bass line back in. Let's get away. Let's get away. to be a new sound it's like a bam which should make sense new sound it's like a bell sort of thing this happens a lot when you have like verse one and verse two you, it's often happening that you'll have some other thing in verse two to make it a little different let's get away to give you oh okay wait a minute let's get away to give you i took a sip from my devil's cup yeah it happened there again Let's see if it repeats. It's something like this. Took a sip from my devil's cup. Slowly, it's taking over me. I am curious about something. What does this sound like reversed? Is it? Let's see. I bet it's the. I bet it's the hook. Oh, did you see that? Did you fucking see that? I was right. All you have to do is reverse that. Oh god. I'm going to I'm going to make a little video for Instagram real quick. There we go. What up Instagram? I'm breaking down a song for uh a student's Toxic by Britney Spears. Link available down below. But look, you know in the song when it goes like this? Or wait, when it goes like this? All that is, all this part is, you reverse it. Bam. Instagram, I'm breaking down a song for a uh, student. Toxic by Britney Spears. Link available down below. But look, you know in the song when it goes like this? Or wait, when it goes like this? All that is, all this part is, you reverse it. Bam. What up, Instagram? I'm breaking down a song for uh, students. Toxic by Britney Spears. Link available down below, but look. Alright. Unedited. Unadulterated. Okay. 
Fuck, we have to keep it original. So give that a try. If you have a cool hook, just reverse it. All right, now we're just going to go into a second pre-chorus. Let's see. I might hear something else playing this melody. I feel like I can hear a synth in the background going do 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 do. I don't know if I hear it here. I do hear it. It's very subtle. Uh, just listen for it. You can hear it like it almost sounds like a xylophone or like one of those metal xylophones on a glockenspiel. I don't know. It's going. It's just doing the do 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 do. Listen. It's in the background, but I swear. If you don't hear it, it's okay. I'm pretty sure it's there. Oh wait. Okay, here's the thing. I did already map out this synthesizer, but this is the one that's very glidey. This one's different. It sounds like just bells. And I don't know if it's happening on every note. Let me see. I can really hear it on this one. There could be a possibility that this and this are the same synth as well. With like this is just the attack portion, but I'm not sure. But you know, what? I'm gonna leave it there because I didn't really notice that till now. seems basically the same let's get that crash in there Let's see if this is in the pre chorus. Guitar thing again. Alright, we're gonna go to the bridge. Okay, cool how on this chorus, on the end, you get toxic. Or how many times do we get the word toxic? On this time, we get it three times. We get it here. Here, we only get it twice. Classic move. You can hear it. Oh, whoops. Uh, Jesus, where where are we? Um, uh, you can hear that. Toxic. Know that you're toxic. toxic. Okay, classic move in the sense that you mute everything except the vocal. Toxic. So that's all you hear. Toxic. 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 You can hear the harmonies here pretty easily. Toxic. 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 You can also hear some of the delays for the, for y'all wondering how to 
mix stuff. You can hear the vocals have some delay. Taxi. 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 But yeah. Uh, but yeah. Uh, we're just gonna go into the bridge. Let's see what's happening there. Taxi. The bridge is, you know, you get away from everything you've done, and then you basically usually jump back into a chorus. At least for this song, that's probably what's gonna happen. Let's see what Toxic. happens. Okay, so you're gonna get those kicks from before, the, the drums from before where they're high passed. Bridge vocals. Just kind of meh, nah, nah, nah. All right, what happens here? Okay, let's listen to this though. I'm gonna have some weird, like, reverse sounding stuff. I'm just gonna reverse this, just see how it sounds. So you can hear these these kind of reverse sounds. And then we also have this kind of, I'm gonna guess this is an electric guitar. It sounds like the same thing from here, or a similar version. Kind of mimicking the chorus. Sounds like the tone here gets a little stronger. I'm just gonna get some weird synthesis with the guitar still playing like a couple things. Vocoded. We're going back into the chorus. This is cool though, because instead of just going right into it regularly, you're gonna have the vocals being super vocoded. They're harmonized too. I don't want to break on all this harmony, so hopefully you can hear that that's not the same. lined up. Okay, this all needs to be forward a bit.
I'm just trying to finish this up now. This thing happens sometimes. I don't know why. I think it's when I've started recording past a certain time. Um, but from my perspective, this just sounds like mush. It's just like... And from your perspective, I think it should still sound normal. So allow me to do this. These... Oh, shit. Basically at the end... Like, if you notice on these first few choruses, you basically have pink, red, pink, red a couple times. Then, like, the guitar is taking the role of the vocal, like, in the first chorus. Then the second chorus, you have... Let's see. You have an extra toxic. And this one, you're getting just, like, red, pink, red, pink, red, pink. There's also a couple extra just, like, toxics thrown in there. And then I believe the bass is getting crazier. Like, let's just listen to the bass line. I think you'll hear some more like, wow, wow, wow. Like some more like wah, wah pedal. Just more like umph and vibe in the bass than earlier. Let's just listen to both choruses. Chorus two, listen to the bass. Now listen to this bass. And I think you might also hear some harmonies in the, uh, some like vocoder harmonies in the vocals. But yeah, hopefully you can tell that the bass has a little bit more umph going on. And I think, again, I can't hear it anymore, but I think there's some harmonies, some extra harmonies in the vocals going on, maybe with like talk box and stuff. And then we're just going to change the vocal melody for this last part. Intoxicate me, Intoxicate me now. I believe the guitar is playing again. Honestly, if you've made it this far, hopefully you can figure out what's different about this last chorus. But the main thing is going to be, you're going to get a whole nother vocal line here. Um, yeah. Amazing song. Um, if we look at it, let's see if we can get a quick overview. Let's map this out. Bridge. Chorus three. Okay, so we have intro, verse one, pre chorus one, chorus two, verse two, pre chorus two, chorus two, bridge, chorus three. I believe this is like a pretty classic setup for songs of this era, at least. I don't know what's going on anymore, but yeah. Um, cool arrangement, cool track, classic track, lots of hooks everywhere. I mean, right at the beginning, then obviously the chorus is huge. Um, the pre-choruses are big too. So many hooks everywhere. We got some uses of silence here. We have that pretty classic use of like mono to stereo, like when you go from verse one to pre-chorus. A lot of cool ideas in here. I'd recommend you try and break this down yourself. Um, and if you want this project file, you can go to my Patreon. I also teach private lessons where we can talk about mixing, producing, uh, whatever, and arranging. Yeah, we can do breakdowns of other tracks. And yeah, I can give you track feedback. Uh, we can see each other's screens. It's really nice. It's on Zoom. Uh, or in person if you're in Berlin and you're not crazy. Um, so yeah, that's what's going on. Buy a vinyl. Buy one of my vinyls. I have another record coming out next month. I'm excited to give more details on that, but that's going to be sick. It's going to be eight tracks. And I think it's probably my favorite work yet. Probably by a good amount. It feels really good, this one. So, yeah. All right, y'all. Have a good day. Enjoy. And thanks for watching. Subscribe. Tell your friends. Peace.